<laughs> back with another video here for you guys so I want to talk to you a little bit about the RGB and CMYK color modes so whether you're a silhouette designer pro a photographer or you are just getting into designs it is important to know the difference between the RGB and the CMYK color modes so that way you can plan and optimize each stage of the design process for both the print and how your designs will look online. And that goes beyond just knowing what the letters stand for. Spoiler alert, they're just colors. But it's more about knowing which is best for your project depending on where and how the final result will be displayed. One color space is always, always better than the other. Now, I bet you are wondering what the difference is between RGB and CMYK. Well, to put it simply, all they are are color spaces that we work in. The RGB color space is best for any work that you are doing that will be seen on a screen, a tablet, a smartphone, social media, or on your website. The CMYK color space is used for printing. In order to understand how they all work together, you need to understand the why of the color space. First, RGB, red, green, and blue is a color space for digital images. Use the RGB color mode if your design is supposed to be displayed on any kind of screen. Again, like I said, like a cell phone, tablet, website. A light source within a device creates any color you need by mixing red, green, and blue and varying their intensity. This is known as additive mixing. All colors begin as black, darkness, and then red, green, and blue light is added on top of each other to brighten it and to create the perfect pigment. When red, green, and blue light is mixed together at equal intensity, they create pure white in the RGB mode. Again, using RGB color space is always best to use with anything that you're going to view online or on social media, and you should turn to RGB if you're sharing a design from the Silhouette Studio Design software, if you're using it to share it like on your website, if you're selling products or stuff like that. Now, the CMYK color space, cyan, magenta, yellow, and key, also known as black, is a color space for printed materials. A printing machine creates images by creating CMYK colors to varying degrees with physical ink. This is known as subtractive mixing. All colors start as blank white, and each layer of ink reduces the initial brightness to create the preferred color when all the colors are mixed together they create pure black. Now the difference between the RGB and the CMYK is why you will notice a slight dull color tonal switch in your design in the Silhouette Studio between what you see on your screen versus what you see printed. Fixing this really depends on how annoying the color variation is to you or if you are trying to get a color that is near and dear to your heart like my personal favorite color, Auburn University Orange, my alma mater, War Eagle. If the color shift is something that drives you up the wall, there's always something that you can do to make sure that the things that you print and the things that you're designing online are exactly how you see it. Now, it will cost additional money, but if you're serious about your designs, and that you may be, you may want to spend the money. All it will do is change your color space in Adobe Photoshop to make sure what you see is what you get. And I will show you that very quickly and how to change between RGB and CYMK and the difference in colors. So let's take a quick step to my desktop. All right, so we are in my desktop and I am in Photoshop as you can see right now. If you look at my screen, you can see just this uh, red piece of like design or something like that. Let's just say this was like a red heart. Maybe you were making a design for Valentine's Day or maybe you were making, I don't know, maybe you're a University of Georgia grad and you were making 
uh, a design for one of your students or something along those lines. So as you can see, at this moment, we are in the RGB color space. And you can tell that by right here. This is the mode that we are in, RGB. Now, there is a way that we can change this mode within Photoshop if you have Photoshop or if you have any other sort of design software like Adobe InDesign or something like that. And it's actually really quite simple, if I'm being honest with you. So all you have to do really, well, wait, let's just go ahead and take a step back and talk about what we've talked about before we started with this video. This is in the RGB color space, and obviously this red looks like a bright red. It's a great red, and I felt that this was going to be the easiest way to show you about the color variance that you can get when you are working in the RGB color mode versus working in CMYK color mode. CMYK, obviously, like I said before, is how we print. So that's sometimes why you see a difference of variation of color in your printed photographs or in your design in that you create on the Silhouette Software Studio. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to Image at the top of Photoshop. Um, it doesn't matter if you are on a PC or if you are on a Mac like me. The image thing is still the same. It is across the board. So if I go to image and I scroll down the mode, you will see the RGB color space, the CMYK color space, lab color, and multi-channel. But right now, we are not going to worry about the lab color or multi-channel. We're going to worry about RGB and CMYK. Now, on the CMYK and the RGB color space, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So if I was to print this red block of design in on my computer at home, I would see a, I would not see this bright red. I would actually see this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and convert that. And did you see how dull that got? Let me go back. That is red. I'm going to do that one more time so you can see it one more time. Okay, so this is RGB. This is CMYK. RGB. CMYK. And that is the difference between the two different color spaces. CMYK will not print as bright as what you will see on your screen. But if you wanted to get a better accuracy of what would be printed is you could take your designs out of the Silhouette Studio and you can design them in Photoshop and work into the CMYK color space. And then at least you will be able to see or get a better idea of what you're printing um, versus what you're designing. And that should help solve that problem for you. But like I said, Photoshop is not free. You can get it on the photographer subscription. I believe it is $9.99 a month, which may be worth your while if you are doing multiple designs with uh, intricate colors. So I just kind of wanted to show you one way that you can kind of differentiate between the RGB and the CMYK color space to help make your designs a little bit more accurate to what you see on your screen. That's it for this video, guys. I just want to say thank you so much, and I cannot wait to share with you at a later time. Hope you have a great day. Have a blessed day. Bye.